Hey everyone, as spring sets in, so is yet another PVC2 Reflourished update. We've got a big one this time, so strap in for the show. First, we're finally getting around to a big fan request, Replayable Epic Quests. Introducing Travelog's Taurus Trap, a new world on the world map that will contain any epic quest levels you've beaten. After completing steps of epic quests, each level will unlock on the world map you can replay at any time. However, in order to introduce this feature, we've had to make some critical changes. Any epic quest progression prior to the upcoming 1.2.2 update will be lost upon updating. This does not include any already obtained awards, such as plants, gems, and coins. However, any level progress will be lost and you will need to replay the epic quests again so that they can properly unlock on the map. We're also retiring the Penny's Classroom epic quest, so after the update, that epic quest will no longer be available. You can also find the Sandbox Arena in Travelog's Taurus Trap. This location permits you to test out plants you haven't unlocked yet, so it's a nice testing ground to see what you would like to purchase, or incorporate in a deck. Use this arena to test out all kinds of wacky defenses in a near-infinite randomly generated level. However, alongside all these changes, we are introducing a brand new epic quest, Parody Insanity. Zomboss has taken a new role as a movie producer, and he's producing rip-off, cheap imitations of well-known films in order to make a quick buck. Stop this scheme in the Parody Insanity Epic Quest. We'll have some more information related to quests later in this showcase. Next up, introducing Penny's Challenges. Penny's put together all new survival simulations, aiming to test your endurance. These levels are tough, and they take a fee. For each run of the challenge, you will need to purchase tickets with gems to play. However, if you persist and survive, you'll be rewarded handsomely with an amazing coin reward. But watch out, things can go south very quickly. Penny's challenges will appear on the world map in the form of a timed event icon, and they will reset weekly with a new level. The first Penny's challenge will debut on April 8th, 2024, and they'll reset every Monday. Will you be able to endure these gauntlets? Got some unlikely new friends returning. Pokra and Pyrevine are back. These new Jimmy implants will be available when the update releases, and they've received some hefty changes from the base game, especially Pyrevine. Be sure to give them a whirl! Pyrevine's new Flame Blast and Poker's newfound Armor Piercing Projectile are helpful to any defense. Moving along, we've got a fairly significant new feature to introduce to you. Introducing Premium Quests. Premium Quests are a new way for us to introduce new content into the game, and we're really excited to finally reveal this feature, as we've been tinkering with it for quite a while now. Premium quests are a new type of epic quests that you will need to purchase from the store. These new quests will feature gameplay content exclusive to the quest, such as a new zombie or two. Prices of these quests will vary depending on how much content is offered. When a new premium quest is available for purchase, you will see a quest in your travel log informing you it is available in the store. With that being said, we are debuting this feature in its second form. Epic Realms Epic Realms are premium quests with even more content. So much content, it's like playing a miniature world, which is what they are. Epic Realms will feature new areas, new zombies, and could even be spin-offs of existing worlds and their mechanics. While premium quests will be represented by their icon in the store, Epic Realms will have a fancy new key representing them. Much like premium quests, they can also vary in content size, and won't necessarily always follow specific trends expected in adventure worlds like Gantor fights or zombie boss battles, for example. With all that out of the way, we're excited to reveal our first new epic realm, Hypothermic Hollows. Hypothermic Hollows has its return to Frostbite Caves a long time after Zomboss's last visit during the expansion. A long abandoned group of zombies have turned to new leadership after Dr. Zomboss left, and a new powerful leader has dethroned the previous chief. New zombies await, alongside some old friends who have evolved to survive the harsher cold. To help you through your journey through the bitter cold, a new plant has arrived. Flameweed. A fire member of the Spike family, Flameweed attacks way faster than other Spike plants, and is uniquely able to hit any flying zombies that happen to fly over him. You will be able to unlock him by clearing the Hypothermic Hollow's Epic Realm. Similar to Epic Quests, all levels for Premium Quests and Epic Realms will be replayable in the all-new Travelogs Taurus Trap. Hypothermic Hollows is the first of our new Epic Realms, but it will certainly not be the last. Don't feel left out if you can't access them right now. Thus, Premium Quest and Epic Realm content will always be available to play in Insanity, Pinata Parties, Limited Time Events, and even respective Endless Zones. Our last major thing to cover is our upcoming birthday celebrations for Plants vs. Zombies' 15th birthdays. Last year, we had some special costumes you could earn themed after the first PVZ. 
We've got even more of them now that you can earn from our special month-long birthdays time event. Our event this year will feature levels celebrating the first Plants vs. Zombies game as well. After the event ends, all these costumes will be purchasable from the store for coins, so don't worry if you happen to miss out. We've got way, way more coming in this update. Balance changes, hefty overhauls to the Zen Garden, and some long overdue quality and life improvements are some of those things. However, we'll leave you all to discover all of that when the update releases on March 31st. Until then, we'll see you next time!